Hello everybody, Starfield Review. Well, I might, I might prove me wrong. Yo, prove me wrong. The best thing Bethesda done since Oblivion is Starfield. And now I'm gonna explain you why. If Starfield has a um, catch praise is would be... What was I doing again? There is such a density and wealth of discoveries that it's almost impossible not to get distracted by an entire universe of things around you. You pick a mission with all the best intentions of seeing it through and yet emerge blinking hours later on a completely different planet from where you intended to be with the endless tales of space battles, enemy encounters and adventure under your belt littering. Wait, what, what, was, what was that doing again? It took me two days, two days just to start the first main story mission. Once I was clear on the opening, I just got lost exploring planets, meeting people, and bouncing between events that I stumbled upon. My biggest wise uh, is shipbuilding. I'll be on the mission, land on the spaceport, and uh, just take a quick look at what engines are for sale. And then six hours have passed, and I add an entire extra floor to my ship. Or there is survey, scan all the animal planets and resources on any given planet or moon, you can sell the data. It's all too easy to finish an objective, realize you've done a 70% scout without trying, and well, you might as well finish and shit, I've done it again. Okay, I'm defined doing um, a, a, a main mission now. Oh wait, what, what, what's over there? Oh. Well, if you never played but share the game before, that's kind of its whole thing. Massive open worlds full of the things to find and do. There are plenty of big faction missions and a main campaign, but you are collect an assortment of quests almost anywhere you go and entire evenings can pass by doing bits and pieces. Sometimes you find a fetch quest, sometimes a fancy sci-fi loot cave, and other times a chunky multi parent mission that lasts hours. Just take away in the back alley somewhere. Sure, you can drill throughout the main story if you want to, but you are a kind of mission. The point, the experience is more about exciting and seeing where it takes you, rather than compelling anything you kinds of freedom. The cities you explore and groups you join all feel like separate games in their own rights with their own rules, culture, and characters. New Atlantis is probably the main location in Gleaming Star Trek Utopia where the group constellation will have you scouring the galaxy for mysterious artifacts. you also find the United Colonies, one wired, here to task you with the fighting aliens, infestations and going undercover as a space pirate. Aquila City is basically Firefly Space Convoy Land, where you bring a frontier law to laser-wielding bandits. There is a neon drug adult Blade Runner style cyberpunk dystopia feuding Rujin, which has you sneaking around, doing corporate episodes, and finally Cynthia, who is a rusty industrial Mars settlement that channels, and the expense worst space is rubbish for yeah, well normal people think. Yeah, so oh jeez, let's move on. Missions are varied and creative, from straight up fights to things like haste and multiple paths, investigative encounters where you're just talking to people to get information and all sorts of other possibilities. You're never entirely sure of what's coming next and I've been surprised more than once or reloaded safe to see all available options. Whatever style of play appeals to you are the most um, certainly something in Starfield to support it. Killing everyone is always kind of the fall option but you can be stealthy or get creative with dialogue and touch to find your own solution. Well, you know, the better things. I've gotten big on persuasion and the amount of things I've talked to my way almost feels like a cheating at this point. Outside of being script, narrative beats are hundreds of planets to explore. Full of smaller, percentage generated locations, there is also outpost building, they are creating and crafting modding and so on. I'm currently 80 hours in and yet to get bored of even slightly fetish because there was always something to switch my attention towards when I fancy a charge. For me, the loop is actually few big story missions, and then when I want to decompress, some planet serving or shipbuilding, usually along the way I'll clear some random missions, 
a little of the bases, gears, and um, much, much, much more. You know that the, the this title is kind of it's kind of crazy thing. So um, I'm just I'm just want to talk about um, a space race. So and in overall, though everything works well and feels stable too, there's an off frame rate shutter when you first load into a highly populated area. I've had a couple of dancing dead bodies and the MC standing awkwardly in the shot during dialogue, but experienced nothing catastrophic. Well, yet. I'm playing on a decent PC running at 2000 Super and had no trouble. Starfield is a good looking game though. Uh, even the cave you start is oddly impressive. While all the cities are beautiful, detailed places to explore. And for every lifeless grey moon you find there is a lurid jungle to chase weird animals across. At one point I was scanning aliens fish on the coast at night when I was landing the storm cave in the over the sea and it got to be one of my top gaming moments of the year. For me, personally, Starfield is the best thing Bethesda has done since Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Or maybe Oblivion. And has the same density and life to it. We're walking in just about any direction we'd find something to do. The sense of discovery and the progression as you explore feels incredibly organic. And it seems like the culmination of everything Bethesda has learned in the 25 years. The DNA is clearly too, with Fallout 4, Fallout 76, crafting and building system immediately recognizable for one thing. While walking someone up to bed to hand a mission, will be instantly familiar to anyone who has ever tried to complete an objective of the light since Morrowind. I know Bethesda's style of game doesn't gel with everyone, but that's not my problem. I love the exploration and sense of discovery in what it does. And Starfield represents some of the best world building studio has done for a long, long time. For every moment I've spent careering around planets shooting anything that moves, there are always opportunities presented elsewhere. Casing a museum to steal its contents, or mining at the Bionary's cocktail party trying to encounter the emblazement, and occasionally I'll shoot potato one wondering the endless expanse of space because there is a pointless tiny side mission that requires 50 of them, and for some reason, they are hard to find. I have literally broken back into space jail, second after being arrested, to steal back my precise confiscated potatoes because I'm finishing that job, even if it scales me. Starfield isn't really a game you play to compete. It's uh, more about living whatever sort of life you want to live in the universe Bethesda has created. Whatever you're thinking of doing, you almost certainly can do if the scale is almost released in a way. You'll probably never see or do it, so just enjoy the moment. There is uh, months, if not years, of discoveries buried away in here. And even after 80 hours, I can't, I can't wait to see more. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, guys. And uh, oh, about the cons, it, it can be overwhelming and, and Cumber is um, very annoying. So that was the Starfield review. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your time. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. Peace out.